Greetings from the Sunshine State. This is a pour I created a couple months ago. Unfortunately, some of the video didn't get recorded. My plan for this pour was to do a series of large blooms on this 10 by 20 canvas. And it wasn't going the way I wanted. You could see that I had scraped off a portion of it. I'm filling in the scraped off portions with house paint, my base paint, which is an off-white color. And I will be attempting to add some more blooms and blow them out with a hair dryer. But down the road, I just wasn't thrilled with it all. It never goes the way I, I plan it. So I saved the, the canvas by uh, inserting and dipping balloon kisses. And the result looks like a floral tapestry. I, I'm very happy with the final results. I hope you enjoy the process. So I just couldn't seem to get this right. It wasn't going the way I wanted to. So I stopped making blooms and brought out the balloons. Sometimes I place various colors in little puddles on the end of the balloon, like two or three colors, and then dip it on the canvas. And then sometimes I dip it into my paint drippings. The 
balloon kisses are usually more successful when the paint has had some time to set and thicken, say uh, two to four hours. But I was impatient and I figured the paints were already very thick, but you can see how it's still a little soupy. I have to go over it a few times and I make sure I wipe the balloon um, periodically because it can muddy the colors if I don't. As you can see, this technique can be very messy. My workstation looks a mess. <laughs> And now I'm aiming for smaller patterns, so I got out the deflated balloons. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. Stay tuned for a close-up of the floral tapestry and let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think it turned out very nicely considering all that it went through. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.